name is Coach Martin Gordon and welcome to another short video of which the video I'm doing today is number two of mistakes what personal trainers make. The whole idea of me doing these videos is to share some of my knowledge to enable you not to make some of the mistakes what other personal trainers make and also some mistakes what I've made also in the past. Now tip number two is, okay, a lot of personal trainers in the industry are very dogmatic, okay? So today's tip number two is dogmatic. And I'm going to go on to explain what I mean. Now, when I say dogmatic, it's inevitable that obviously you're going to be qualified at some point. And when you get qualified, it's a matter of getting a lot of experience. Now, the problem is, when you do get qualified, chances are you get qualified by a provider what gives you a lot of tools and a lot of information and a lot of knowledge and some of this is not going to be based on your own experience so sometimes what happens you get a very dogmatic approach in that no this way is not the right way to do it you should be doing it this way and this way only not opening your mind up to different scenarios not opening your mind up to different experiences not opening your mind up to working with different kind of clients who get different results doing different things, okay? So what I'm saying is very easy to get dogmatic in the sense of you must do it this way, this is the only way how you should be doing it. You must only have certain percentage of carbohydrates to get this certain look. You must only train this way, this many reps, this many sets to look this certain way. Open your mind, guys. Don't be so dogmatic. Because dogmatic, being dogmatic is in a way a sign of kind of ignorance, okay? In you're not having an open mind. You can get different results or the same result doing different things across the board. It doesn't have to be so specific in the sense of you must have so much grams of protein, you must have so much grams of carbohydrate, you must have so much grams of fat per day, etc. etc. It's going to be very different across the board. So don't be so dogmatic. Now then. A lot of people will follow certain kind of gurus, okay, and I will mention a few of them. Some people follow Paul Chet, who has his philosophy on how workout, nutrition and lifestyle should be. And also, some people follow Charles Poliquin, who has his ideology of you know, strength training, nutrition, uh, lifestyle. So, in a lot of the cases, you can take their information on board. But also, at the same time, take their information on board, but have an open mind towards who you're actually going to implement some of the information, what you get from these guys. Okay, you only have to go into a lot of the forums, fitness forums, and you will see how dogmatic personal trainers are. You know, in the sense of, they will say, no, this is not the way how you should be doing it, you should be doing it this way. No, I don't agree with how many grams of carbohydrate you should be taking. No, I don't agree with the fact that you should be doing this exercise. That is very dogmatic. Have an open mind, guys. Keep your mind very open to learning. And don't shut your brain off to lead yourself down to ignorance. So that is tip number two, guys. Don't be dogmatic. Keep a very open mind, okay? Also, use some of the information on you that you have on the right type of client. Don't do the same thing on every single client. Alright? That is tip number two. Don't be dogmatic. Have a great day.